keeping track of a protest in North Portland. We have seen an increasing number of riots this month with police declaring them for the past three nights in a row. And while we haven't heard from the mayor about that, he is talking about opposing protests back on Saturday and the police's decision not to step in. Meanwhile, community members are asking for more from their city leaders. Fox 12's Audrey Wheel is on top of all of this. She joins us live from North Portland right now with the latest. Audrey. Right, well, we're just outside of the Portland Police Association headquarters, and we just heard police on their loudspeaker. There they go again. Oh, this has already been declared a riot. That's what police are saying now. We heard them just a second ago telling everyone to disperse this area. There's probably a couple hundred people here. We can see the glow of what looks like a fire uh, in the middle or kind of behind the police union building there. We also earlier saw a protester climb up on top of the building and hang a sign that says abolish PPB. Again, what you're hearing right now is police declaring this a riot, warning the crowd they could be subject to arrest or crowd control munitions, including tear gas or impact weapons. And we spoke to a business owner who lives in this neighborhood earlier, and he says other neighbors and businesses are always on edge when they know protests are headed this way. Tonight, he has a message for city leaders and police. Terrence Moses lives in the Kenton neighborhood and runs his computer business from home. He's not far from the Portland Police Association, which has been a target in protests and riots. He's condemned any destruction and violence, but he says we need systemic change and real solutions. He wants to know what is happening in our community at this point to achieve that, and he says public officials need to be publicly sharing what they're working on. To our city leaders, your silence is just unbelievable. I cannot believe how silent you are during these particular times. You're unreachable, you're not saying much, and then when you do speak, you don't say anything. And he says there needs to be dialogue and interaction with demonstrators that works to keep things peaceful. Today, Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler didn't say anything about the riots and instead commented on protests between clashing groups Saturday. During which police did not intervene, citing the consideration that police have been the target of violence for more than 80 days, that both sides showed willingness to engage in short physical confrontations, and that police didn't have enough resources to step in. Where were you at? Where were you at? I don't buy you only had 30 officers and you were shorthanded so you couldn't show up. What that seems like is because you had the support of a, one group who fighting for you, and because they were fighting with each other, you chose not to show up because they was in favor of you. The mayor today saying, I vehemently oppose what the Proud Boys and those associated with them stand for, and I will not tolerate hate speech and the damage it does in our city. White nationalists, particularly those coming to our city armed, threaten the safety of Portlanders and are not welcome here. Regarding Saturday afternoon's protest, I am closely reviewing and discussing with Chief Lavelle, Portland Police Bureau's strategy to limit their intervention in the right-wing protests and counter demonstrations. We will share more information with the public. We are at a critical place where police officers are needed to intervene in protests where police officers themselves are the flashpoint. And that was Audrey Wheel reporting last night. Police declared a riot outside the North Precinct on Northeast Emerson Street. You can see rocks and other debris in the road there. Also, a few fires still smoldering. 23 people were arrested last night, and police did use tear gas. Today, acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf tweeted, quote, 25-plus arrests in Portland in the last 48 hours. Now is the time for the governor to deploy her National Guard, send in Oregon State Police, or request assistance from the federal government. Portland law enforcement is doing what they can, but he says... They need help to proactively address violence, end quote.